Hey ben. State police are investigating a tragic crash that tied up the morning rush hour for hours along 696 in Royal Oak. 39 year old man and a 61 year old man were both killed in the multi car crash. Investigators say the victims got out of their cars to check on a minor accident, and that's when they were hit by two separate cars. Police shut the freeway down in order to investigate. New at 5 State Police offer safety advice on what you should do if you're involved in a minor accident on a busy highway. There was also a deadly crash along I-94 near Metro Airport, killing a 30-year-old woman. State police say a car broke down in the eastbound lanes of I-94 near Middle Belt. It happened about 1 in the morning, and then that car was rear-ended by a small SUV, which then caught fire. The SUV driver died in the wreck. The driver, who remained in the broken-down car, had severe back injuries. Detroit police hope some new video will help capture the suspects in a double shooting that killed a popular DJ. It happened Friday night on West McNichols and Eileen. This new video shows two men getting inside and then hiding in one of the victim's trucks. Police say as the victims approached, the suspects got out and opened fire. Brian Gilbert, also known as DJ Slick B, was killed. Both men got away in a dark colored SUV. If you can help police, please give them a call. World health officials are targeting the coronavirus crisis at a huge virtual meeting. About 300 scientists from around the world are dialing into a video conference in Switzerland. They're sharing their knowledge and resources to come up with a research roadmap that tackles the virus. Deaths in China have now topped 1,000. There are more than 43,000 people sick with 99% of the cases in China. Chinese leaders are trying to get people to go back to work, even though 60 million people remain in virtual quarantine.